Happy Mother New Year. It's been a minute, girlfriends. It don't kill me, but it's been a minute. We talked about me leaving my company already, right? We don't have to go through that. Okay, well, in since I, since then, things have transpired. Your girl has not only started a business, we have been embracing this full-time influencer content creator life. Okay, today was supposed to be a really jam-packed day. It's January 17th. It was supposed to be a really jam-packed day, but all my stuff got rescheduled and set my hair appointment. Thank God that had already been rescheduled. And so it's 11.45 right now. My hair appointment's at two o'clock. And so we're gonna go do that. And let me just give you a quick recap. Okay, well, let me just dizzy. I ain't ate today yet. Let me give you a quick recap on what has transpired since the last time I posted. So I was on a very good cadence posting right it was every three days i was posting like daily vlogs but they were like every three days instead of a week instead of just one day it was really i was in it right i had been getting invited to influencer events i had been to one of my first influencer events like i was just like really embracing my time not being a full-time employed woman okay well i went to my first influencer event by myself that i got invited to like this is the first one that i got invited to as an influencer myself in dallas um, with Kofi Beauty at the Virgin Hotel back in October. And I did, I took you guys with me, I vlogged it, I did a get ready with me, all this stuff, right, on my vlogging camera, right? The next day, it was like three days, and then I had filmed another video, too, or three videos. So then the next day, a few days later, guess what happens? My MacBook, not this one, my MacBook that I had had since I got into grad school so it's been a minute, but I hadn't used it in like three years because I had one for work. So my perfectly good condition MacBook decides to say, I'm done. Life is no longer important and I'm out of here. I'm gone. And it broke. So my mom went into superhero mom mode and sent me her laptop so that I could use this until I was able to get a new one. Well, I edit all of my content on iMovie and it's it makes it go so much quicker well this computer is a little seasoned she's been around the block a few times and my mom sent me and it can't get iMovie and so i've been i have been editing with CapCut, the desktop version which just by heaven's gates the desktop version had been released like a month prior well i wasn't really obsessed with it so it was just making it really hard to use like i was just getting really frustrated so i said you know what i'm going to put a halt on youtube and like my long form videos, I'm gonna put a hold on that. And I am just going to focus on TikTok, focus on Instagram, just being consistent, focus on my LTK, being consistent, taking more photos, all that, right? It was smooth, it was perfect. And I've been doing really well. If you aren't following me on any other social medias, I'm just gonna put them right here. This is my TikTok. This is my Instagram. This is my Pinterest. My Pinterest is like, it's so, it's like, sexy cozy good like it's so good this is my ltk this is my amazon storefront so these are all of the other places that you can follow along with me but yeah that's the quick recap so so because i was doing so well and i spent so much time and like got out of my comfort zone and like actually took my youtube camera with me to that event in october i'm still going to edit and upload that content i'll put a disclaimer in the very beginning that it is um from a few months ago but it's still getting uploaded so you're gonna see this you're gonna see that most likely after this please engage with it please comment all of the things i do post a lot of youtube shorts i think i post like maybe two to three a day I post a lot of youtube shorts but we're getting back into the long form and i keep saying that all the time but at this point i don't really have a choice like <laughs> i upgraded my main phone and then i got a second phone so i'm able to keep the balls rolling i literally was sitting on tiktok watching someone talk about youtube and how they sometimes video their youtube videos on their phone and i was like bitch before you got a camera you used the video on your phone so what are you doing so that's why i picked up the camera today my hair boards at two as we get to see my hairstylist who is one of my clients so i'm literally at her hair salon every other day and then we're gonna come home and do some more work i have a silk skirt it's pink and i really wish i knew how to like pull it off i have like the idea of what i would want the outfit to look like but I, there's pieces that are missing i need a new leather jacket and i also need like some golden goose sneakers or like white sneakers i just don't own any other white sneakers other than hanbees we also hit 1300 followers on youtube today so that's also something to be very excited about so don't forget to like comment and subscribe 
tell your friend and tell their friend and tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends because we love it over here. She is a loved group on every platform. People love the girlfriends, okay? Period. I started in okay so okay let me another sit down back in november i was saying on tiktok that i really wanted to be a fashion girly in 2024 like i love beauty i love skincare i feel like most people know that that is my like get down if if you don't know that leave it in the comments and we'll get better like <laughs> that means i need to go harder but my mom's a fashion girly i used to make fun of my mom for the way she dressed when i was younger because i just didn't get it my mom is the fat like I'm obsessed with my mom's fashion. Once I get my life together, my next goal and like passion project will be to help my mom with her like styling videos because I know that's what she wants to do on like her Pinterest. I know that's like what she loves. So, well, the end of November, I get an email from Rent the Runway saying that they want me to be a Rent the Runway partner and I get different pieces every month and then I post about them. And so I'm like, I tr like spoke it into existence truly spoken into existence so for the past few months i have been creating content around rent the runway and around the items that i choose the fact that i just got a notification that my little cousin's about to graduate like it's so weird so so weird thinking of my little cousins that were born when i was in middle school now graduating because like i i feel like i stopped aging and i feel like they're just getting older <laughs> Like the day I get the notification that my 14 year old nephew, like who's 14 right now, that I get the notification that it's time for his graduation, I think I will be an absolute wreck. <laughs> That's my dog, I love him. Anyway, but I manifested this. Public service announcement to all my ladies and you can call me whatever you feel when I say this. I don't really care. If you're in college or this is mainly for my girls in college because by now you probably wouldn't be able to dig back in the archives. But for all my girls in college, if you're dating an athlete, keep the warm ups. 
that he gives you, okay? You will have the best archived throwback, vintage-esque pieces to wear and make it fashion. Call me crazy, call me unhinged, but you can't say I don't have good ideas. Made you think. Cleaning up, my apartment is done. I just need to tidy up. That's, I've been in my tidy up era this week. So I'm about to warm me up some food. I made chicken, rice, and okra last night. So I'm about to warm this up so that I can eat. My hairstylist texted me and told me to come early. We love that. So this is what I'm wearing. These are Nike. I don't know the name. I never know the name of my shoes, but they're Nike. Um, these are my Renaissance Tour sweatpants. I have on a Skims bodysuit under this and then my Lululemon um, refined jacket just tucked into my sweatpants because I don't have the BBL cropped one. Um, and then this coat, it's either from Shein or it's from Boohoo. Um, and then my Elite Crossbody. I will have the entire outfit linked in my LTK and then in the description as well. Nothing's worse than getting in the car and remembering that you need air in one of your tires. What do I always say? That's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> I always talk to my mom on my way to my appointments or like my longer drives. So I'll see you when we get there. Hey, bro. Hey. hey. You ever try to vlog with two hands and two cameras? It's not easy. <laughs> I had no business watching anything, that part, but um, not set it off. Well, I had no business watching set it off, but not Stellar got a group back. Plus one more Whitney Houston. Yes. I had no business watching that. That is so cool. Well, watching Waiting to Exhale now as an adult. You raggedy bitch. So differently. It is. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I get it. That. Okay, hair is done and definitely very much laid. I go to Chris Styles in Dallas. She's one of my close girlfriends and she does amazing, flawless work. I'll leave her page linked in the description box and on the screen um, on inst for Instagram. She really does take really good care of your hair. She specializes in, specializes in natural, healthy hair. Where the fork is my fingernail clipper? Now I'm gonna go to Sonic and get a drink. It's my first time seeing my hair black in some years, baby. I forgot it's freaking rush hour traffic right now. So I made it back home, changed clothes, filmed a few, no, not a few, filmed one TikTok um, and posted it and a reel. It's the same video. I just posted it on TikTok, YouTube shorts and Instagram. And so now I have some work I need to get caught up on, try to finish some more editing and then slowly drift off to bed. I have to work super early. I don't know if I talked, I don't think I've talked about it yet in, on YouTube, but I have a part-time job. And so I have to get up super early to go work in the morning um, and then come home tomorrow. I don't really have anything set for tomorrow or Friday. Jet black is like my color. It hasn't, it just wasn't this short. Like I've had jet black weave, it just was never this short. So if I don't pick you guys up anymore the rest of the night, you're not missing anything. Somehow we got loose from what was oh so tight Somewhere we went wrong when we were oh so right, right. What's a man to do when he just can't take no oh, What's a man to do? What am I to do when my heart beats me to the door? Now I've tried and tried again But now this is the end Tell me what's the use of holding can't be free Purposely, I didn't understand it. 
I had no choice What was best for us Was to terminate our love and be situation um i work in the mornings part-time and so i have to be there at seven so i usually get up around 5 30 5 45 and so that's what i was getting ready for but i'm home now for my first part of work and i have my to-do list for my second half of the day and i'm gonna eat right quick and then fold my clothes it's the use of holding on if we can be free and it has 79,000 views on it and I'm geeking. I've literally, I've gained 500 new followers on Instagram in six days, which may not be a lot to some people, but it's a lot for me, especially because my followers have been decreasing because where all my followers came from was my TV show that I was on. And because I don't really post about anything dance related anymore, a lot of people unfollow me. And I feel like a lot of them were like spam too. So they're like slowly trickling away, but this really has me geeked. This is the video. Hopefully this sounds not too loud. Like, super cute, so like fun and flirty. I posted it the day before Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, Eve has 79,000 views, 1,600 favorites, 16 comments, 107 shares, and 121 saves. Like, don't forget to repurpose your content. I'm telling you, the thing that's going to change the trajectory of me being an influencer is the fact that I have taken myself on as a client and started to strategize my own started to strategize my content and like myself as I would for clients and I'd say it's working got some things done I'm tired but I need to go to Target before this happy hour so I have about 30 minutes to edit this video for TikTok YouTube and Instagram and then I've got to make that run Back from Target got my two extra Red Bulls for today today for tomorrow and Saturday I use game RT. I I'm about to make me something to eat and then I'm going to fold my clothes up that I was supposed to do when I got home earlier, but I didn't do. So I'm gonna fold my clothes up so I can just take my eyes off of a screen, like my computer screen and my phone screen for a minute and then I'm gonna get back to editing. <laughs> Happy Sunday. So yesterday when I got back from work, I was super sleepy. It's not Sunday, it's definitely Saturday. But yesterday when I got back from work, I was super tired between just being purely exhausted from working so much and my period started yesterday. I just, I was out of it. 
So I didn't really get to do anything I wanted to do. I slept for like four hours when I came home and then waited until like late last night to start actually working. Right now I am doing, about to start doing my makeup so that I can film my Rent the Runway try on haul. And if you haven't seen it, one of my Rent the Runway branded videos on Instagram has hit over 100K views and it's just, that's the most views I've ever gotten on, t on that's the most views I've ever gotten on a video on Instagram. And it's hard to get views or go viral on Instagram um, or harder. And that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to go viral. Like I make content, I put the content that I do have out for a specific audience. And as long as it reaches that audience and it, and it engages that audience, that's all that matters. And I didn't expect to receive that I didn't respect and I posted it a month ago and it just not picked up traction like last Friday I want to say which is fine with me like I posted it because it was in my within my deliverable obligation and I liked the video and it's going crazy so thank you for that and um I've gained my followers on Instagram aren't as they don't grow like they grow on TikTok and I'm actually really st stagnant on TikTok with my followers right now too but I've gained over 700 followers since Friday. So since last Friday, so we'll take it. We'll take it. You could have just taken the job with Hammer. The makeup is all done. It looks really good. And now I am going to start filming that. And I'll show you guys like the BTS of how I film my try on hauls. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest to get at least three videos out of this try on haul um, outside of you guys. So yeah, let's go. and I'm all done filming and taking my photos from my Red the Runway haul, but I'm tired. I have been shooting in the freezing cold and I'm hungry, I've been eating all day. So this is the aftermath. So like I told you, this is where I stand in my little corner. It gets really good lighting from my windows. And this is the aftermath. I have stuff literally everywhere. Um, and so I'm gonna make me something to eat and I'm gonna chill out. I have two more videos to film um, and I would really like to go work out tonight. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I have two more videos to film that I can film after I'm done eating. Or maybe I'll just go ahead and do it because so, I'm gonna take my makeup off. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get it done because baby, I'm tired, tired boss. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friend to tell your friend to tell their neighbor to come be part of the girlfriends. If you want to see me daily and you can't wait until I post my next YouTube, you can always find me on YouTube Shorts or on TikTok and Instagram, both at KS Jarman. Um, and yeah, that's where I'm always at. I'm always posting stories. I'm always posting um, videos on both of those. So I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.